Hey guys, this is Gail with Check This Gadget, and today we're going to look at Sprint's navigation system, and we're going to be looking at it on the Palm Pre. So we're going to go ahead and launch Sprint's navigation. Uh, we currently have the 2.1 version of Sprint's navigation, which is the latest at this time. When you first open Sprint's navigation, you'll see four options. You have the Drive To, the Search, the Maps and Traffic, and the Share and More. Basically, let's go to Share and More first. Share and More, you have share address in which you can provide an address to go ahead and text or email to a contact of yours. Save current location. If you're currently at a location, such as a restaurant or something like that, that you probably will come back and visit, you can go ahead and save your current location, which the GPS would directly pinpoint where you're at, and you can save that location. My favorites um, would be saving certain addresses that are your favorites, such as a work address, um, a certain restaurant that you might visit frequently. You have those under my favorite and you can be able to GPS it from anywhere whenever you're ready to go back to there. Let's open up preferences. Under here, this is where you'll be able to tweak your GPS to your liking. Um, you have the option of the GPS finding the fastest route, the shortest route, um, some people don't like driving the highways, so you can select the preferred street. Some people only like driving the highways. Mostly, you can have preferred highway. Um, and even if you're walking, you can select pedestrian. And you can have it actually each trip, just depending if you like to select different ones for uh, different trips. You also have where you can select the distance as far as in miles and feet, as we use over here in the U.S., or kilometers and meters, as everyone else uses around the world. You can select it to have it be in 3D or in 2D, which I'll show you once we get into the, the GPS. You can have the audio say with the street names, no street names, or you can select to have no audio at all. You can always have a backlit on so when you're driving, it keeps the screen backlit for the GPS. And you can have traffic alerts on. And what traffic alerts does is basically, um, if it's a delay or detour it'll let you know about that if you go over to maps and traffic this would directly pinpoint exactly where you're at at the current time just collect that in 3d so this is the 3d version when you're in 2d it's just a flat map like that that pinpoints your location basically that's what that is go ahead and that selects map as far as bring up that option and then this over here is your traffic uh, delay icon Search is basically when you're searching up a location. Um, say you're looking for a gas station, you're looking for a quick trip. You can type in quick trip there. As you can see, it pops up there, so you can just select it or press enter. Search near your current location where you're at, or you can select, click on that and select from a recent place. Uh, put in a certain address, put in the contacts, uh, select the contacts address, or select one of your favorite places to search from. Category, you can select all. Um, this would be a gas station category. So this, what this does is by selecting a category, it actually narrows down all the different type of stuff it's going to bring up when you search Quick Trip, and so that's helpful for some uh, searches when you're doing search. So we select gas station from the current location. As you can see it searches. It pulls up a few different gas locations. Um, usually it sorts by the closest. You have best match. So we're going to reorganize that so it can so you can see your closest. And then you can go ahead and click on your closest there. And what it does is it pulls up the, the full address how much of a distance is and the phone number if you need to give them a call. If you ever need to call, you just click on it and it brings it up on your phone app there. And you can come back here. You can view this on the map in which it will pinpoint your location and show you all the surrounding locations of that exact um, quick trip that you searched. So whatever you search, it, if it brings up nine different locations to show you where all the locations are at. Click that icon and it'll take you back here to your search results. And then if you want to drive to, go ahead and click drive to and it will begin getting a route for you. As you can see here, it brings us into our route, which is in the 3D. You see it has 
uh, tells you how many miles you're going as you're making each turn. It has a total amount of miles, and then it has an estimated time arrival. Um, estimated time arrival sometimes is correct, sometimes not. As you drive along, it does change to give you an accurate, more accurate description of where you're at. And so what you can do is click on trip and traffic summary to get a list view. And as you can see, it gives you the distance of each different location as over here, which turn you need to make. It has the total distance, the also the time, and if you had any traffic delays. Click on the traffic, it will show you if you did have any traffic delays for the certain streets. And if you click on map, it just gives you a flat 2D version, 2D look of the distance that you're traveling. And so you can go back to route here. You just backspace to get out of that. And as you're going along, if you have the voice on, it will tell you to make a left on Farber or wherever you're driving to. And it also tells you when you get to the end of your destination, which side your destination is on, which is nice so you can know if you need to be on the left side of the street or the right side. And lastly, we have the drive to, which you can go ahead and select the address. You can input an address, you can put input an intersection, which sometimes you don't always need the address, you just know a certain intersection you're going to, or you can also just input a city if you're driving out of town. And you also have a selection to call it in, which uh, the GPS has an actual number where you can call to get things called in for you. You just swipe back to get back here. Um, if you go under recent places, these are all recent places I've had of GPS in the past. And as you can see, just a bunch of it just saves all your different locations. Uh, usually for a while back, it it appears you can always just click on one, and it'll get your route. You can edit the route, and in which you can select if you want the shortest distance and different little things, just to make it to your style, your liking. And then you can set the route again, in which it will find you a route. If you also go back, you can select on airport to search up different airports you guys should just go ahead and search but you can see it has the closest nearest airports to you also let's select contact if you did have addresses in your contact which i don't and then you have your favorites which is some of your favorite addresses as i stated before earlier um favorite restaurant home address just those type of addresses um if you had them and then we have business in which you can search up different businesses you just type in basically how we did um, under the search. So as you can see, that's Sprint's navigation. Very handy, very nicely put together. It's a, it's a great GPS, uh, GPS system, and um, I think it's very nice and handy to have on all the Sprint phones if you have a data package plan. So checking out that Sprint's navigation on the Palm Pre. It pretty much, it looks the same on and operates the same on every Sprint phone if you do have the data, as I said. This is Sprint navigation on the Palm Pre. This is Gail with Check This Gadget. Make sure you subscribe to check out future videos and see you in the future.